All right, guys, we are getting ready to start up the MR2. We got Gabe over here. He's getting some things ready. And then we also have the MR2. It is all ready to go. We have the new motor in as well as the uh, turbo intercooler. We're going to go over a few of the setup there. But we just had to pick up the hookup, the last two sensors here. We have to put up the wideband and the intake air sensor. And you guys, are, you guys can keep talking. There's nothing going on here. Yeah. Yeah, so the exhaust is in here finally. Everything's all tightened up. We should have to put those last couple of sensors in and we should be good to fire it up. So over here we have the air to water intercooling setup. This is really fun because you have to have a whole separate coolant system inside this car to cool down the turbo, just the uh, charge air. So we actually run the reservoir up front as well as the pump. So with this box, this should be able to like handle about 500 horsepower, it says for the rating. Um, not too sure because it is just eBay so we'll see about that and then yeah we're running a GT 2860 RS turbo and that is going in about maybe two feet of charge pipe there and yeah so let me show you guys the lines on the underneath and up front and we'll be good yeah, so here's up front we have the water reservoir there's a one gallon reservoir and so this is just enough coolant for everything. If we wanted to, we'd actually use it like an ice box because we can have access to it. And then the pump is actually right below this box. So everything fits under the stock setup. Keep all the interior plastics. Everything will look really nice. Um, then we also have our heat exchanger up front. So that just fits right between the bumper. Um, sandwiches in there quite nicely. Nice brackets. Everything that's really good. So underneath the car here, we have our two water lines. These run front to back for the uh, air to water intercooling. So we have the return lines, these go up here, they fall fit in the stock tunnels there, and they come in back here, going up in the intercooler. So yeah, everything fits quite nicely. That's the sensor we have to hook up, right up there. That's gonna be a Haltech air temp sensor. We can also see what we got going here for the transmission and motor from the bottom. Um, we do have the Moroso pan with the return line, so this should help a lot. Um, it actually doubles the oil capacity in this car. And you kind of get a good view of the header too from down here. This is a very compact setup that was made here in town by um, REF headers. They do a great job. And they got all this to fit on the stock body. So then here is the best part. So Gabe over at s and Tuning, he's going to be helping us out. He developed this kit for the MR2 Spider. So this is actually everything you need to run Haltech on your MR2. So he has a adapter harness, uh, Haltech 550. You could also run 750 if needed, um, wideband sensor, and the air intake sensor. So this is everything you need to run um, the Haltech on the MR2. This gets rid of that um, very common but very antiquated Apexi that almost everyone uses on these, and it'll help us a lot because um, this system has all the safety. Um, features that you'd want that the Apexi is missing when you're running a turbo motor. So um, you're gonna be able to have the knock control, you're gonna be have a lot more control over just about everything. And the interface of the, um, the software is a lot better. So Gabe's over here now, he's actually loading up and getting everything ready. So yeah, he's gonna be helping us, uh, hooking us up and then we're gonna be showing you guys what this can do. What size are your injectors? 630 cc. We're going to start it initially and we're just going to crank it over, make sure we see RPMs, we're going to make sure that there's no uh, no issues, make sure everything's All the sensors are reading out and all that. And then um, we'll check oil pressure and stuff like that. Yeah. So Perfect. we're going to fire it off initially. Yeah. We'll just we'll yeah, do gauge it right here. Yeah, we got all, that's a temporary gauge guys. That's going to be for our oil pressure. Make sure we got that. We just uh, set up the fuel pressure regulator. Um, we set up the last uh, vacuum line that goes to the internal map sensor on the ECU. Um, we do have the ECU components. We're going to kind of move those around. But we have everything sitting right here, nice and temporary, um, so we can get started. So everything's all tucked in back there. This is that uh, harness that has it with the full kit. It's going to look awesome. And then we got Gabe right there. So yeah, we're uh, checking everything, and we're going to be starting this up soon. You good, Ben? Hit it. All right, here we go. The injectors are off right now, so it should not start. You on oil pressure, Ben? I'm on it. Here we go. One, two, three, and go. No yeah, pressure yet. Okay. It may take a little bit, of, yep. a little bit more RPMs, a little bit more time. So yeah, it takes a long time. This uh, is just all in starter, right? Yeah. Yeah. You got oil, you got coolant, you got fuel. How much fuel do you have? Here we go.
Alex? Alex, I still pump and throw it too. Holy fuck. <laughs> 